out of court. They have won the gold medal. While oh, the crowd at Bondi on their feet as one. I remember lining up for the last serve. I remember holding the ball in my hand, knowing that if this rally went our way, we were going to win a gold medal. And that thought sort of flashed in, flashed out. I threw the ball up, I did exactly what I did for the whole tournament, threw the ball up in the air, hit it as hard as I could to the direction I wanted to hit it. And it wasn't until the ball, when they played it, and it landed out on our side, it wasn't until that ball landed that it all, all those emotions just exploded inside of me. And all of a sudden I looked up and I saw the faces on the people in the crowd and I realised what we'd achieved. And it was just, it was shock <laughs> at first. It was, yes, this is what we'd planned, but it was also shock that it had all worked out, that we had actually done what we had planned to do. It was just an amazing moment. I'm so excited about going to Beijing with Channel 7. It's something that I've been dreaming about since retiring. Um, to be involved in the Olympics in, in another avenue, to be on the other side, I guess, and, and see all the things that happen behind the scenes and, and still be able to be part of and so close to the, the action and the athletes and the emotion and you know the, the tears and the joy and everything. It's, it's going to be amazing. I'm, you know, it's a new chapter for me. Thanks for your company. I hope you can join us again next week as we continue our journey with our athletes on their road to Beijing. For everyone going to the Games, one thing's for certain, whether they win or lose, they'll make friends for life.